As both sides of the state line slowly reopen, public health officials say it is critical to keep track of the coronavirus. And one of the new ways health leaders in Kansas are doing this is by teaming up with researchers to look into our sewers. 41X News reporter Aaron Rothfield explains how this could help. It's not a place many people want to be, but it's a goldmine of information for researchers like KU hey, professor Belinda Stern. We test what's coming into the plant. Who has been testing wastewater to monitor the spread of the coronavirus in our communities. But if we can detect the wastewater, we can know what's going up and increasing or decreasing for that population. Right now, health officials monitor the virus by testing people, but tests are limited and sometimes costly. One reason the Kansas Department of Health and Environment asked Sturm to help. If we see a positive, then obviously that means within that catchment basin, uh, there are humans shedding COVID and we're observing them in the wastewater. The CDC says the virus has been found in feces of patients diagnosed with COVID-19. While studies suggest the virus becomes inactive by the time it gets to a sewer system, it still carries genes that researchers like Sturm can detect. We are concentrating viruses from 150 milliliters. So with, you know, a jar like this, we're, um, we're seeing what's in there and, and we're able to detect um, thousands of virus particles in that sample. So far in her lab, she's tested 12 sites within five Kansas counties, including Douglas, Shawnee, Miami, Franklin, and Brown counties. Samples from 10 of the 12 facilities tested positive for the virus. Several of the facilities we sampled, there are no reported cases in those communities. We're finding that the cases are five to 10, 10 times underreported. So on one hand, it's not surprising, but it is disappointing. Suggesting wastewater can tell us a lot about the pandemic. It might even be able to serve as an early warning system for outbreaks. Really, this is a, a brand new method. And so um, it's not a silver bullet, but it's an additional line of evidence that maybe people can use to make informed decisions. Reporting in Lawrence, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.